Davis, right. Of the story. You got You're it. Quite right. When we come back, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro are the cop and the robber teamed up together for the first time in Heat. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best. Try to stop guys like me. I don't know what you're doing. Remember Jimmy McElwain on the yard used to say, you want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner. Robert De Niro plays the head of a crew of professional thieves in that scene from Heat, and he's explaining to his partner, played by Val Kilmer, about how he allows himself no attachments in life. And one of the themes of Heat, a fascinating three-hour film by Michael Mann about the nature of cops and robbers, is the age-old story of men torn between the intoxicating violence of their jobs and the sanity of their women. In the film, De Niro meets a graphic artist played by Amy Brenneman, and he violates his own rule by finding that he needs her. I'm a needle starting at zero going the other way, a double blank, and all of a sudden, someone like you comes along. De Niro and his crew know they're being followed by the police and that their next job will be very dangerous. They're ahead of the game and they can retire, but can they? I got plans. I'm going away after. So for me, the reward is maybe worth the stretch. Well, Elaine takes good care of you. You got plenty put away. You got T-bonds, real estate. If I were you, I would be smart. I would cut loose of this. The cop on the case is played by Al Pacino as a veteran who knows he's up against technicians as good as he is. And it was a million six in bearer bonds and they ignored the loose cash. Because they had no time, because they were on a clock, which means they knew our response time to a 211, had our air, immobilized it, entered, escaped in under three minutes. This Michael Mann spot. creates characters who are escape. smart, verbal, and articulate, and one of the pleasures of the movie is simply listening to them talk. That's especially true in the movie's best scene, where Pacino and De Niro, who have never started a movie together before, stop chasing each other long enough to sit down over a cup of coffee and talk about their lives. It's a great scene. It's a very good movie. It's a very good movie. I think you left out one other element that's very good, and that is the how-to technical quality of, the, of the, the crime that's going on and the crime solving. Just like in Michael Mann's Thief, more than a decade ago with James Caan, He's very good. Obviously, man has spent a lot of time with criminals and with cops, and he talks about and shows us, in fact, the picture opens up, with the creation of uh, an incendiary device. And it's that kind of thing that keeps your eye, you know, we have been down the track of one more uh, crime, one last uh, theft yeah. as a story device. But I think it's his high-tech quality that oh, also Oh, I like it the high-tech quality, although I question whether it's as accurate as you think it is. I, think the I don't heist, know, but it seems the like The heist it. that begins the movie seems yeah. a little bit more cinematic than realistic. That's not a complaint, but I don't really think this is a docudrama. Okay, we both like the picture. Coming up next...